folks, welcome to Forensics Detectors. We are doing data logging with our FD-600M. 600M. In this version, we have our five gas analyzer, one, two, three, four, five sensors included. But don't get confused. Yours can be a single gas analyzer, 600M version. It could be dual. It depends on what you have purchased. So don't let that throw you off. But the process of what I'll be describing today is the same is the same okay now you can hear the pump for this purpose of the video we're going to turn that off okay that's the way we turn off the pump i'm going to go back to the main screen now to get into data logging we first have to do some basic things we go into menu we go into system set which it controls how we data log and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume we want to start fresh so we're going to delete all the previous data logged items just go clear data go to setup press down ok and bang clear success we have cleared all the data from memory from memory okay folks now here data rec is where the data sits and now it started to log different levels. You could see the sensors and in the square brackets, it shows you how many data points it has already logged since I just cleared the data. Does that make sense? So in other words, this unit continuously data logs. It continuously data logs. So when we just press the clear button, as soon as I cleared it, it started data logging from zero again. You see that folks? So if I go back, we could see there's nine now it's adding to it when i'm on this screen it doesn't add real time but when i go back i know i've added another five seconds of data okay i hope that makes sense so first we clear but when you clear understand immediately after the data logging continues it continues folks okay so let's go into system set and let's follow the step-by-step -step guide from your data logging chapter in your manual okay we go down now in this section is where all the various settings is regarding data logging first is recording media tf card is where the memory will lie that's where we have the biggest chunk of memory that we have added into this unit for data logging okay folks second option is the recording mode if you want to record on a periodic basis on a timing mode that's what you have to click on timing if you want it to only record when it alarms or an alarm event i should say then you select alarm if you want to record manually at your specific time when you tell it to to take a certain data point you go manual okay but in this case and in most cases that i speak to customers and what people want it's usually they do typically want timing so in other words you will leave the unit running for a period of time maybe one hour two hours one day and it will record into memory what the levels of gases are and then you can data download what it has recorded okay so put it into timing next it's the recording time how what the period is what period do you want it to log every five seconds every 20 seconds every 100 seconds right now is where you make that adjustment okay you can make it 15 seconds right there you can make it 25 seconds i want it to be every five seconds and i keep going forward i keep going across and bang it's done it's done okay it's as simple as that folks it's as simple as that now we have set it up quite straightforward and simple okay quite straightforward and simple then to make sure that it's actually recording make sure you go back to data record go down we know it's in the tf card memory bank press ok and there you go bang you could see it in the square brackets how many data points it's already recorded okay for carbon monoxide for oxygen for ex for co2 and no okay so I want to see what the recording is for carbon monoxide. Bang, there you go. All the data is here. Okay, you see that? All the data is here. What I will do right now is I'm going to plug it up to some tubing and I'm going to take a sample of gas and then I'm going to step by step go through it recording data. Okay, folks, so I'm going to actually go back. It's still recording. I'm going to turn on the pump. And by the way, 
pump on or pump off is still records, okay, folks? Pump on or pump off is still records. So, I will turn on the pump, I will turn on the gas, and it is now taking in the gas. You could see the numbers going up. I'm taking in carbon monoxide, reducing O2, and increasing CO2. That should go over. I'm gonna turn that off, actually and be done because it's high concentration of all these gases. HHH means it's reached its maximum on the CO2. Actually, I just put 50% volume. The max CO2 on this unit is 20%, but it does not damage the sensor in this case, okay? O2 was zero, but it didn't make it that far. And CO was 200, it didn't make it that far either. I just gave it a quick impulse shot just so that we could record the data and then we could graph it so you could see how it looks like. Okay, folks, back to data recording go back over here let's go to sorry let's go to tf let's go to co so you could see the numbers being recorded over here it went up to 102 then we went down every five seconds so that's what we've recorded it's quite nice o2 we could see what we've recorded see it depleted went down to 3.9 and let's check co2 co2 started that low and it went to maximum bang right over there, bang. And you could see it, the different color code is quite nice. Actually, we've programmed it so that the orange is the first alarm, the red is the second alarm. So uh, depending on your alarm presets, it's also giving you different color um, rows over here to, to indicate it's exceeded those alarm thresholds. Again, that's for advanced user items, but it's nice to, to mention that. Okay, plug up our USB cable on the side over here to download the data. So just plug up, the USB cable that it comes with, it's type EC, and then plug this up to your computer, <clears throat> and then this will act like a simple external drive. So once that's done, go to Concept, select USB, okay, and then select your mass storage. That is where your data re resides in the TF card mass storage. Press OK. Okay, go back and then connect the unit to your computer and then it will act as a USB drive. Over here, as we could see, we have our 600M connected to type C, connected with our USB cable that the unit came with and into a USB connector on our laptop. And as you could see, bang right over there, it comes up as a external drive. I'm gonna zoom that in so you could see exactly what that looks like. And when we go into that drive, we can see our sensors. You see that, folks? Carbon monoxide, CO2, EX, even records the humidity, NO and O2. So we click on that, and we have our CSV file. It is right over here, ready to be manipulated in any type of data package that you have. Gone ahead and open Google Sheets. I have imported the data from the drive and now all I need to do is simply graph it quite straightforward indeed and there we see the spike that we exposed the analyzer to you could see it there our carbon monoxide spiked and it reached the level of as we could see from the graph just under 150 within a few seconds. That's the way it works, folks, very easy. Now, the point here is, is that we provide you with the CSV data so you can manipulate it any which way you wish. And there's no proprietary software, there's nothing to purchase, there's no license required, all is open source, and you get the raw data from the analyzer. Look, I hope that makes sense. Till then, be well, be safe, and see you soon.